The National Medical Stores initial request for cancer drugs was 500 million shillings, but this was later raised by government to 1.5 billion shillings, necessitating procurement orders to be cancelled and tendered afresh. NMS says this is the reason why the country experienced cancer drug shortages. Now as it seeks to sort out the shortages, the private sector is going to be engaged to speed up the distribution from the districts to lower health facilities. Previously, drug distribution has been carried out according to a delivery schedule run by district health officers. The moment National Medical Stores delivers these supplies at the district headquarters, district health officials from the health department, security organizations, that is the DSO and the police, must receive these supplies, confirm that actually we have delivered what our delivery notes are saying we have brought, and hand them over to a third-party provider. NMS also wants the public to hold health officials to account for drugs allocated to government health facilities. If you think you have a right to free medicines, you must have a responsibility of protecting the supplies that come to you. In a new development, malaria test kits are to be introduced to health facilities as a new measure to reduce the prescription of malaria drugs without proper diagnosis. The number of these health facilities do not have the capacity to diagnose malaria and we have therefore decided as national medical stores that we are going to provide them RDTs or test kits, these are malaria test kits. The NMS also plans to have zonal coordinators who will monitor the supply of essential drugs at the grassroots. Josephine Karunji, NTV, tonight.